algae are all around us. When you see one, what comes in your mind? But what exactly are algae? Come and join us to be a Park Algaes for a day. Algae are defined as a group of predominantly aquatic, photosynthetic, and nucleus-bearing organisms. It represents a highly diverse consortium of ancient plants compromising different evolutionary lineages of mostly photoautotrophic organisms. The different groups of algae are of polyphyletic origin and epitomize the majority of existing divisions of plants. Algae are telephytic. Many algae are living in solitary cells, colonies, filaments, or primitive vegetation bodies and do not have a vascular system. Following a conception of subdivision of living organisms into five kingdoms, the prokaryotic algae are placed in Monera and the eukaryotic algae in the Protoctista. Hence, the algae do not belong to the kingdom of plantain. Nevertheless, it is widely accepted because of the photosynthesis as the mutual characteristic to interpret algae as a lower plant in distinction to the vascular higher plant. Algae are mostly aquatic, but they are present in almost every available ecological habitat on this earth. They are ubiquitous in their distribution. On the basis of their habitat, they are aquatic algae, terrestrial algae, parasitic algae, symbiotic algae, and algae with some special habitats. Algae produce oxygen, which other aquatic life uses. Algae tear out half of the photosynthesis on the planet, and thus contribute about 50% of the oxygen that we breathe. Algae are important to humans in the form of food and medicine. Fossilized algae are used to make dynamite. They also help remove huge amounts of carbon dioxide. Algal bloom refers to an increase in the population of algae resulting in discoloration of the water body. In Boracay, algal bloom usually occurs yearly during the dry season of summer period. According to the Regional Ecotourism Committee, algae contributes to making Boracay sand white and cool even under the scorching heat of the sun. It does break down into a white powder, but it isn't sand. We can find algae basically everywhere. And if you see one, we might have thought that they are too common and insignificant. But now that we have dug deeper and studied this organism closely, we bet that our idea about it has changed. Like all other living things existing on the face of the earth, each was created for a specific purpose and reason. And all living things, no matter what function they serve, for sure, contributes to maintain the balance of our dear Earth's ecosystem. ecosystem.